So here's the. Uh, if you saw the install video, here's how to set up voice command. Um, if you either do this in the install video with, when I ask you to do it, or whether you do voice command dash s right here dash s is set up. Uh, either way is fine. It's going to run the same thing. Like if you say yes in the install, it's just going to run voice command dash s. So here we go. Voice command dash s. Opening config file. Do you permanently want to set the continuous flag so it always runs continuously? So if you want to use it. If you never want to use it continuously, or you mostly want to use it like once or twice, then say no. I like to use it all the time, so we want to set the continuous flag, let's say yes. Do you want to permanently set the verify flag so it always verifies the keyword? So in my videos, what you've seen if I call it a name, like I call it Rosie. So what it does is it checks the audio level of each uh, couple seconds, sees if the audio level is above a certain threshold. If it is, then if verify is set, and key, it checks the keyword, verifies that the key, that's the keyword, then listens to your command. If it's not, it then instantaneously starts to listen for your command. I like to use the keyword. We're gonna pray for us. Yes. Do you want to permanently set the ignore flag so it never looks for answers outside the con config file? This is the Wolfram Alpha API option. Um, uh, it it tries to look for answers using Wolfram Alpha. Uh, they don't have an official API, but we kind of got one hacked up. Um, I don't want it to ignore. If you're in another country or you don't speak English, um, you might want to uh, to ignore it because yeah, I believe it's only in English. But I'm gonna say no. I don't want it to ignore it. Do you want to apparently set the quiet flag so it never uses the audio output to speak? No, I like it to speak. Do you want to permanently change the default duration of speech recognition? Now I'm fine with three seconds. The command duration. So two seconds is great if it's Pi, but if it's Jarvis or Rosie, you might want to change it like something with you know more syllables. So I'm gonna say I want to change it to three. So I'm gonna say yes. Type the number of seconds. Seconds. I'm gonna say three. Do you want to set up and check the text to speak options? Yeah, sure. Let's try that out. Hello, Phil. This program was created by Stephen Hickson. So we heard that. I did hear it. Yes. You're the Phil or Phil or Phil at the beginning of the sentence. The filler flag should be set to zero or blank. So. This is how this happens. If you have Pulse Audio installed, you will hear filler. But if you don't have Pulse Audio installed, you won't. So there's a weird problem on the Raspberry Pi with certain things breaking when you have Pulse Audio. I don't know why. I haven't looked for it. I, haven't, I don't know if something's wrong with the config file. I don't know what's going on. But Pulse Audio breaks Piano Bar and a couple other programs in the weirdest way. It'll work for a little bit, and then it'll stop. So I have this filler option. Um, so this is in the recent updates, uh, now a string, but you can set it to zero and it'll empty it out. So we're going to say, in this system, uh, I can hear it, so I'll say zero. So yes, I want to set the filler flag to zero. Do you want to change the response? No, I'm happy with yes, sir, but yeah, you can change it. So, no. Yeah. Do you want to set up and check the speech recognition options? Yeah, you definitely want to do this, especially if you have a non-standard microphone. See, it says, I detected you have a different audio card that I, I located. I would, would you like me to fix that in the config file? So this is really nice that it does this. Like, it's, I don't know how buggy it is, but it's cool that it tries to at least find it out. So I, I was happy with this little option I threw in. Would you like me to try to get the proper audio threshold? Yes. So I'm going to record you once while you're silent, and then once you're at the same command in order to determine the threshold, getting ready for sound recording. This is useful especially if you're at a weird distance, like I'm at a certain distance from my microphone, I have a certain type of microphone, you might have a different one with a different distance, this might be really useful. So, I'm going to be quiet and we're pressing a key. So, I was quiet. Now it's getting ready for command recording. Try saying the command while this is happening, pressing the key when ready. So I'm going to pick a random command. Hello, Rosie. So there that gives me gives me a floating point threshold 1.6969, which is different than the threshold that's the default. So should I set this in the config file? Oh, my default thresh is 1.6969, which is different than the thresh that was detected 3.1. Should I set this in the config file? Yes. My default on the Raspberry Pi is 0 0.7. This is my Fedora system. I've already gone through all this. It's, that, that's how uh, that happened. Default command keyword of the, or default keyword of the system is pi. Do I want to change this? Yeah, sure. Type the phrase you want as a keyword. We're gonna go with Jarvis. Now the keyword and the commands are now case insensitive, but it's a name, so I always capitalize it. Jarvis. 
I got Jarvis, which that which was a perfect match. So it automatically detected that's exactly what you typed, and it, it's good. You may have to do this a couple times to get it right. Um, Jarvis, n unique names work really well. Jarvis and Rosie and stuff like that. I like the female voice, so I pick Rosie. Um, that's incorrect. Yes. Done. That's all you have to do. It's really easy. It does most of the stuff for you. Uh, after this, you should be able to use it. And if you're not, um, like I said, put a post in the blog or email me. Post an issue on the GitHub, and uh, we'll try to resolve the issue. And that's all. Thanks.